copy this the size of it is 75.7 megabytes and it contained the import and files in it for INPA so you copied it from the install folder that is on the C drive and then you look for this um, this folder called EC APPS and you double click it and there goes an INPA note that this one is 56.9 megabytes so therefore you'll replace it with the one that is you just copied alright and it said yes to all and click and there you go and it, boom it copies all the files right there and, and that's the way it's done properly alright you'll have all the files you need to do what you want to do and I'll turn on the BMW cars alright so there you go after that is finished copying I will open up the EDBS uh, folder on the C drive and I will show you how you actually get into the bin folder and how you actually you know for the things to be done alright well, that is finished alright alright this is the EDBS folder right here this one so let us open it alright first of all um, this is the bin folder here alright alright and um, let's say I scroll down let's say I'm looking for the um, um, the EDBS INI this is what I was talking to you about this double click that and open it and I gonna maximize it so that persons can see on the screen that the EDBS version is 647 good and this is the part the C letter the drive letter where it is the, it, the program is installed and it, it changes it for you when you install it alright alright good let me show you some values here you have to change alright um, scroll down you need to um alright let me see let me let me go back up cuz I yeah this is what load this one see this era here it says load 32 I said alright zero means um the Windows 16 and 32 mapping is disabled alright you need to delete that zero and put a one there to enable it and then you go up in file here and then you click save to save it alright that is one of the changes you made for to load the Windows 32 part we call it the program is written in 32 32 bits so therefore it, it will look for it it is enabled so therefore you look for the, the files that have everything to do with that 32 okay right here is um the uh, let me see if I can maximize this part of the old thing and let me go into um, format and let's go in fund and let's increase the fund size to about say 40 alright but let's let, let's be a little bigger and um, let's put at 18 alright so persons can see if they have eyesight problems alright interface what would be for interface here is this description is a connected diagnostic interface alright the diagnostic interface that you're gonna connect to the car if you choose to purchase the one from China it is what is referred to here as a standard OBD cause OBD stand for onboard diagnostic alright so the interface that is set by default here is standard OBD alright the interface that is um that is, is that you're using is the same thing here alright right here you see we have no space okay you need to make a space there and let it be just like that it's essential for the program to read stuff alright so you click save and it will remain that way alright for persons who is using an ADS an active diagnostic um, interface alright that which connects on onto the 20 pin diagnostic connector on the older model BMWs alright the default can be standard OBD but you have to change the interface to let me show you if it's uh, delete that and you put ADS and then you click save alright for person that has an ADS um, uh, diagnostic module or interface alright good but nevertheless I am using a uh, standard OBD so I'm gonna put back my standard OBD which is that and that and OBD and I'm gonna save it alright good alright let's go down here and make some further changes alright alright this is the network protocol era right here okay good and this is the the, uh, the protocol that is using it's a transmission control slash IP configuration type alright the remote host alright the description of it is this server address and the name of it alright the remote host ed you're using is 
called the OPPS which would be the orange head which if you choose to use it to do coding uh, diagnostic and programming but we're not gonna use that we're gonna use um, we're going to use one that they refer to as um, as as we're gonna use a IP address here okay the IP address would be one nine two dot one six eight dot six eight dot one okay and you can have diagnostic head written right here you can have diag head written right there alright and you're good to go alright the diag head here would refer to the interface cable that you're gonna plug to the car alright whether it be the ADS or it's gonna be the standard OBD cable which is the the K line plus D can protocol cable alright so this year you need to remove that 3000 all right and put this 6801 and you're good to go all right you're done so all you gotta do just click file and just click save and you save it all right and I think there's nothing else to do here all right this 68 here identifies with this IP address right here and that this this 68 right here it, with this one it means that it, it's at COM port 1 all right the zero mean nothing really all right alright so therefore you just click X and close that out alright let me show you something this is what they call the interface and the interface handler server 32 dot execute the IFH is short for interface handler and the SRV stand for server alright so you right click that and you'll send that to the desktop like so alright and it will show it up let's let's let, let's oh here's it right here this all right this are integral part of the program all right so therefore you, you get back out of uh, that and uh, you're going to hardware remember you're on the C drive and the, in the EDBS folder all right and you go like this and you go in OBD this folder here because this is the drivers now you gotta install so that the cable can be recognized and you have to double click this and it shows that everything is okay see everything is okay right here and it said all done and press any key to enter okay and it says right here installing OBD driver alright and this is the sub key that is entered into the registry and you should see everything okay here press any key to exit like so and you're done alright so that is uh, done properly alright let us install a let us run the program that's what I should say let us run the program and see what happens let us go to start and let us go to the EDBS thing here and let us look for INP IPO and boom it should run and comes up just like that see alright good whenever you connect your cable to your car and you you turn on your you know you turn on your program you open up the program and so on and so forth when you turn on the ignition on your car and when whenever whenever this right ear ear here turn to black and this turn to black it meaning that your your connection it, it it senses the voltage the ignition voltage and the battery also so therefore the connection be, can be carried out and you can do what you want to do all right so you can select your car if you have f1 f01 you can select it by pressing the function key f2 like so all right and it gives you option here in the language german language for the motor and um for that it could be transmission and that for other things and so on and so forth alright so um, click out of that and let's say we go for the X60 press function 4 to go for E60, E63, E64 and C gives you in English because these are the cars that are imported mostly in America okay so we have engine, transmission, chassis, body, seat module, safety and so on and so forth alright so you know I'm not connected to the car right now I'm just showing you stuff for older model cars you'll just press F9 press shift and F9 on your keyboard and it shall gives you the options to select E31, E34, E36, E38 and the E52 and the E39 alright so that is how you get in there and do all of that stuff there alright so I'm gonna exit this program right now and um, and just close out alright alright said so do you want to quit I said yes good so this is the EDBS server so I have to close it good alright let us open other programs in it and test it out and see how it performs and how it behaves alright this is the WinCAF this is the part that you use to flash cars alright alright if you're gonna flash a DME this is what the program look like 
all right and so on and so forth see the, the hardware interface is the standard OBD cable that you're using all right and so on and so forth and stuff I show that it's activated all right the boot sector update is up active um, activated all right so let's exit that all right I never used that before so I don't know I don't have any information to give anyone on that one all right let us open the NFS all right so this is the system that is also used to flash new flash system that is to flash the DME okay so that is what we have here okay so um, that is how it stay right here and so on and so forth I do not know how to use this and I never used it before so therefore I suggest persons get information from other sources as to how to use it all right all right so you close that out all right let us open another one and um, let us open um, this one EDBS tool 32 all right so you have a nice BMW there and um, this one well this one can be used to do a whole variety of stuff to the car DMEs and other things in it all right this one can update um, you see this one can update E65 with this files here and so on that shows here and so on and so forth but I never use it before so I can't instruct anyone as to how to use it and so on and so forth alright let's close out of this EDBS tool set 32 and move on alright alright so um, let us go back let, let me see how much I've done on this let me see what, what's the time frame here alright 23 minutes I am going to pause this video and I'm going to make another video and upload for persons and the installation of DIS version 57 and triple S Pragman version 32 and I'm gonna show you how you install it without any problems and I'm gonna show you how you set the um, you set up the VMware and the net in the network editor settings to set up the um, the uh, the IP address there and so on and so forth alright thanks for people watching I'm gonna set up part 3 of this system alright bye bye